G'day guys, Liam Fitzpatrick here. Just going for another yak session. Uh, just dragging my yak into another little lake I know. This lake's uh, got a little special place in my heart. It's, uh, it's one of the old school ones. It took me a while to figure out where it was, you know. Like growing up you'd hear little rumors and myths about Jurassic Lake. You know, this place that just had giant brim and massive whiting. You know, all the old school king of the pin comps and they were all one out of here. All the old guys I've spoken to over the year, you know, being in the tackle trade, in the industry, everyone weighed a big brim out of here to win king of the pin at some point in their life, so I've got green hand in my shoe, that's awesome. Uh, wicked, green hand bite. Ah uh, yeah, Jurassic Lake, it's one of those places. I've fished it twice, haven't been here for over 10 years. First time, got nothing. Second time, got a donkey brim, like a big 40 forker. Had a mate with me, he used his digital camera. He ended up drowning that camera before I got the photo, so I got a bit of unfinished business here. I can see footprints going in. I reckon she cops a flogging. The old betas used to give it a hammer. And I don't expect to catch much, but if I do, it should be a good fish, so see how we go. Fingers crossed. All right, we've made it in. Looks a bit different, it's been 10 years, but gonna fish soft plastics for brim and I got that jackal there rigged up in case there's something bigger kicking around, but just about to launch the yak and get stuck into it. I'll probably have a quick cast while I'm standing here. I saw a few fish scoot off the edge, but yeah, we'll get into it. Oh, yeah. oh I missed it. Couple little herring about. The leader's still short as from that last leg session. Oh, I whacked it forward. I felt the line go slack, he pushed it forward that hard. Bring. Oh, yes, there we go. Oh, a little herring. <laughs> I'm about to probably get out there. We got one. There we go, tiny little giant herring to kick it off. Same deal, I haven't even launched the yak yet. Just thought I'll chuck a few casts around just to make sure there's nothing cruising around. Yeah. Nice little giant herring just on that jackal trans am. All right, these things don't like being out of the water sitting in, so I'll get it back. It's lucky I didn't throw the plastic around first on four pound, because that wouldn't have ended well, even on a fish that size. Must be some little guys out there. And again, just bumping into, yeah, oh. Eat it, buddy. Playing with your food. I reckon they've wised up already. That'll do. Let's go chase some donkey brim. Or something. Look, I got one of my old faithful little green pumpkins left. And even he's seen better days. Running four pound leader this time because this place is a lot clearer and the fish are a lot older and a lot wiser if there's any of them left. Can't help myself, I haven't had a bite for uh, 20 meters, so I'll throw back out where the herring were. I'm not feeling this sunny stuff, I'll go try. The shade off the back edge here. And I knew I wouldn't be fishing for numbers in this place. Fishing for one big bite. So I've dropped down to four pound, one twentieth hook this time I'm running. And the brim prawn, it, uh, the amino acids it leaches out, you know, it allows you to fish it really slow. Let those brim get a good taste. You know, they got those 
chemo receptors they use to taste the bait, they get a little whiff of that and away they go. How good does it look? It's just lay down after lay down. That's brutal. Three casts, three snags. Surely people are still catching fish. The amount of tracks I saw coming in here. People are still coming in here. They don't come in here for donuts. I just tie a double clinch knot for my leader knot straight to the jig head. I don't like a loop knot and jig head. This is a different bloody lake compared to that last vlog I did. That last place was a hit every cast. Sun's pumping down still. Look at it, bloody looks right. Rocky edges and snags. There we go. Oh, it's a flathead, is it? Yeah, that's it, swim out. I'll back that drag right off. He's swimming out and I'm happy for him to do it. I don't think it's huge, but let's at least catch something, eh? The sad aqua, rim prawn, four pound leader, 120th head. Fishing for one bite, we got a bite. Yeah, it's a flathead. Now, no, you're gonna say, dude, tighten your drag, that's lame, but it's four pound and he can bite through it so easily. There we go. Nice little flathead on the Eco Gear Aqua Brim Prawn, a little 50 mil. Obviously I'm targeting brim, but when it's this tough, I'll take a little flatty. Long fight, I back the drag off. Yeah, Hollywood drag, loosened it right up, but yeah, just wanted to make it count. There you go. One of the Betos haven't got out of here just yet. There's all your Beto sticks. One, two, three, four little sticks for the set rods there. Look, I've got nothing against people taking their limit and taking their fee, but these little lakes that, you know, little hidden gems where everything just gets big and they clear them out because they're easy pickings. Like if you see my last vlog, how many hits and fish I caught in a lake that not too many people know about as opposed to this place that's been hammered for 20 years. Different kettle of fish. Oh, that was a touch. Oh, whacked it, yes. Finally, got the hooks in something else. Yeah, little herring. There you go, the species that prospers is the one that the baitos don't want. Probably don't catch because they like a little live bait, not a dead prawn. <laughs> All right. <laughs> there we go. Just a quick one. Another little herring. A little baby. But it's another fish. But like I said, the, the brim, the, the cool stuff, the Betos, man, the guys that sit here all night, has cleaned old Jurassic Lake out. It's a shame. Dirty old crab pot's been in here for a while. Lucky they put 20 metres of rope on it. Seeing as the joint's only six foot deep. <laughs> yeah.
Yes. What do we got here? Oh, it's a little flathead again, I think. You are not what we want. You're not a big brim. Holy sand flies, Batman. Oh, 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 he's gonna spike me in the dick. Oh, nearly wore that right in the junk. Little sandy, little bar tail. This is it, coming down to the last couple casts. Oh, I thought that was it then. I thought that was it. All right, I got him. There's a rounder stick as well. What do we got? Another little donger. Uh, there he's off. Oh, I missed it. He hit it again. Come on, give us one to finish off. One to finish off, come on. There we go. I've found a mullet in the back. <laughs> That's a mullet found in the back. <laughs> well, that just shows what's left in this bloody lake. Oversized bait fish. Mullet go hard though. Even if they are just found in the back. Ah, oh, that bloody hook came out. I gotta go. Gotta get back, get out of here before it gets dark. Oh, I would have liked to have shown you that bloody mullet. He was a big mullet. Things that oh, I this shit bad, man. <sighs> All right, that's the end of the session. Got a couple herring, a couple flathead, a big brim, none of the big uh, dinosaurs that Jurassic Lake used to be famous for. Uh, I gave it a good shot though. Did what I know, just soft plastics to the edge. You know, fool's brim everywhere I go, but it wasn't to be today. It's the last little bit of light, just getting out of here. So, you know, if you like that, if you want to see more, subscribe. You know, give us a thumbs up. Hit us up in the comments if you want to know anything. If you want to know why I like dragon canoes and oh, kayaks all over the place. It's good exercise. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Cheers.